All right, this is going to be a quick tutorial on changing out the attack animations inside the third person shooter kit. So I'm already inside of here. I've already started the process. Uh, so I go into my zombie animations, animation sequence, zombie attack, and I'm going to be working with zombie attack too. I've already retarget that by going to retarget and I duplicated it. And then I, it's already the right skeleton, but you search for mannequin and then retarget it to the third person shooter kit. You probably have already done that. So I open my animation up and first thing you need to do, if your animation skips backwards, I think I already fixed this. Nope. If it skips backwards, you come down here to enable root motion, click that and click save. And just by doing this, it's not going to work. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So when you have your attack all ready to go, you right click on it, create anim montage. It's right there, save all. Then inside your character that you want to change, I just made a child class of the original blueprint. So basically what I did was I went into the content, third person kit, uh, blueprints, AI, there's always going to be a base one here and you right click on it, create a child blueprint and I'm going to call it like new zombie BP I've already switched some mesh out for this one, you can put whatever character you want by clicking on mesh and then putting it in here and I've also got some other things set up in here as well, so I'm going to switch those back. Uh, one second. I'm just, you don't have to do this, I'm just setting it back for mine. So, there, now we're on the same animation blueprint. Alright, so the new zombie, what you do in here is you search for attack, and then you're going to see this data table open that up and yours is going to say strong punch here you won't have this set up so yours is like left punch maybe strong left punch right here that's what's going to be here for yours probably so what you're going to do is down here where it says strong attack you're going to select your zombie attack that we just created zombie attack montage 2 is the one I created and you're going to see right away this is not going to trace damage onto my character. So if I drag my character in the scene, uh, yeah, zombie right here, what's going to happen is he's going to be able to attack me, but it's not going to hurt me. There, that's going to happen. <clears throat> so to fix that, what you have to do and this whole template is set up this way and a lot of other ones as well is you find another one of their attacks so I'm going to use the rifle attack and I will open that up and I gotta find the parent attack of that so when I open up the actual animation you'll see there's some traces here there's this and this I'm gonna copy those two that's the attack start and stop I'm guessing and then I'm going to open up my animation for the attack that we created that right here I'm gonna to try to add it to the montage but it may not work it should but who knows so if I save that now my zombie should deal damage should and he does that's exactly what we're looking for should almost deal two damages should be like kind of a, a two hit deal so I'm gonna try this again I'm gonna copy this so that's the first one and the second one will be right here maybe you'll hit me twice now who knows uh, yes he does that's exactly what I was looking for and that's all there is to it for adding your new attack animations hopefully this helps you out and have a good one